Welcome to Medical Insight, a weekly healthcare feature brought to you by the experts at Essentia Health. Here's your host, Maureen Tallarico. Today on Medical Insight, we talk with pediatrician Dr. Jonathan Knight about pertussis, more commonly known as whooping cough. Pertussis is a bacterial infection. It causes a disease called whooping cough, which usually leads to just a lingering, annoying cough in most people. However, babies, if they get infected, unfortunately can have serious complications, including apnea, where they stop breathing, serious uh, seizures or brain infections, pneumonias, and sometimes, unfortunately, death. Whooping cough is spread in respiratory secretion, so sneezing or just coughing. If you've been exposed and you have started coughing or you have a cold and the cough is lasting about three days or so, it's a good time to come in and get checked, especially if you're around infants. Otherwise, if you don't know of any exposure and you have a sort of a cold that's lingering and then you develop a cough, once you've had a cough for about a week, uh, most coughs should be starting to get better by then. And if yours isn't, you could have whooping cough. So it's a good idea to come in and get a test. Dr. Knight explains a series of vaccines is the best thing to do to protect yourself and loved ones. So vaccination is the number one thing you can do to prevent yourself from getting whooping cough. There are more incidences of whooping cough and outbreaks that have happened over the last years. This is not a disease that is eliminated by vaccinations. You're still at risk of getting it and the boosters are important. The booster vaccine uh, confirms immunity for about five years. Um, if you have a close family member who is having a baby or expecting, um, please talk with your doctor. For Medical Insight, I'm Maureen Tallarico. To learn more about this topic, call our experts at 786-3107.